everyone's aware of the vaguely intoxicating smell of an old library book, or just an old book if you're, you have the privilege of owning them, but what causes that smell? I mean, new books have a certain aroma too that is, I love, the, I was a literature major, so I'm crazy about these smells. Um, but what causes these smells? Well, it's uh, something called volatile organic compounds, or basically the organic compounds in the book process, book making process, such as the paper, the ink, the binding, the adhesives, uh, breaking down over time. And then we have, you know, perhaps uh, different materials were used 100 years ago than are being used today, actually, definitely, not perhaps, uh, which, which also adds to that smell of, of cellulose and lignin just breaking down and, oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a creep, but it's not working. Well, then I won't talk about how some of the, like, I, <laughs> I've been to a couple old libraries and, and definitely, like, cathedrals and stuff in Europe, they often have a lot of their old illuminated manuscripts that you're definitely not allowed to touch. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like right there, and you, you kind of touch it to yeah, save you Yeah, but your hand but, oils aren't so good for yeah, it. Yeah, it's very, very bad, so you shouldn't do it. But, like, the, the, you know, all those different materials they used to do, use, whether it was, you know, animal hide or papyrus or, you know, uh, a lot of the old scrolls and stuff mm -hmm. themselves, and how those scrolls, if they're wrapped around like cedar That's or you know elder yeah smell, what i'm talking about I'm even, well, I'm i know, the, I know, those, I know those what extra you're talking ones. about yeah, yeah. yeah it's um, pretty great but i really like how with the binding at least in the us for the last 100 years or so of, of having that there's actually these different compounds that actually when they break down smell like vanilla and, oh. and all these other things <laughs> I actually do Could have a Could you tell me more down. about that? Yes, yeah. I will. So um, there's some selected compounds in old books. I, I already mentioned cellulose and lignin, which are in paper. Uh, but of course, we also have maybe hydrogen peroxide is in the paper and ink, uh, which does not it, yeah. sound like it would smell good. But <laughs> this is a combination of factors together. Uh, so we also have uh, benzaldehyde, which has kind of emits, they say almond notes. I don't. I'm not a sommelier, I don't, or a perfume expert. I don't necessarily smell that. Uh, Vanilla-like smells from vanillin. Vanillin, yeah. <laughs> uh, ethyl benzene and toluene uh, lend to sweet odors, and uh, ethyl hexanol has kind of a, a slightly for, floral smell. Yeah, when they when they the, those breakdowns, and I know that especially with uh, with the breakdowns of all the different compounds kind of working together, I know that a lot of times if you open up an old library book or if you find something in your grandparents' house and you open it up and that kind of releases that wave of of you know that kind of almost you almost get it the nostalgic, you almost your brain starts to think if you smell something like that that it kind of takes you back. It does. And stuff. It reminds me of being like a kid and like looking at these old books in my grandma's house. I just like that they can now use this this kind of you know, nose sleuthing, if you will, so that librarians, knowing what those different compounds smell like, that if they smell, let's say, uh, I don't remember which one was the, the binding, but you know, if they smell those, you know, hints of almond, they know that that's not just the ink or, you know, the bleaching in the paper or whatever. They know it's actually the binding breaking down. They go, I should check this book out and fix it. Vinyl acetate ethylene. Vinyl or acetate just, ethylene. just the binding adhesive. Just rather. binding adhesive. That sounds better. Yeah, so that, that also helps librarians be like, maybe we need to preserve this book now. or Before it completely before falls it apart. Before it disintegrates. Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're able to distill what the, this combination of compounds is to make. Um, uh, there's this company called Demeter that makes um, smells that, well, fragrances that smell like things. And they do make an old book smell. And so it is possible to to nail down what exactly this all is, combine it in pr a proper way, and then derive that uh, that fragrance from it. So you're saying that if, if you, you're into ebooks, if you or I was to say, or if you if you're you know you want to possibly ask a librarian out to out to dinner or something like that, maybe get that kind of you know get that right down there. You know, I smell and like what you like, I librarian. <laughs> Marion. Madam Librarian. No, I was Music Man. I was in that musical. Anyways. I know what that is. All right. So was Ron Howard okay. as a child in the movie. Ear, ear. We got way off topic. Um, so if you love that old that smell of an old book or even a new book, now you know what it's made of, and don't don't let that make you love it any less, because I still love it. Crazy for it. Let us know what you think below in the comments about. Um, the smell of books and what you feel about them and anything else you would like to say regarding this. And please be sure to subscribe. 